Yeah, I know, I know. Skeleton Tower, it's like Helen fell. It's been done to death. I know all that. Um, I should have been, well, I should be at work now. I've gone into work. It's bank holiday weekend, Easter weekend. Uh, the clocks went forward last night, so an extra hour of daylight. So it's bank holiday, Monday, tomorrow. Anyway, I've gone into work and uh, there was nothing to do, as I thought, because I was going to unpack my me, me rucksack and everything yesterday. Um, but I just had a feeling that's what would happen. And I should have been on a fell a couple of days ago. I <coughs> mean, set off point in the Lake District was just past Patterdale and the road in was closed so I followed a one and a half hour diversion all the way through Ambleside towards Windermere to the Troutbeck turn off went past Troutbeck road was blocked again so I just came home but I didn't unpack my bags and here I am so I should be at work now and that's why I'm here. Uh, but I've got something I, I want to talk about, but I'll do that in the morning. Um, so, yeah. On with the wild camp. I don't even have my woolen hat. I've got my cap on here, back to front. <laughs> bad air day. I, have a, I do have a full head of air. I just shave it, but bad air day as well. On with the wild camp. Yeah, so I've, I haven't got much done since Red Westod. It's just been extra shifts and then when I've had my days off, it's just been wind and rain and poor visibility. So, no, I haven't been going out on that. Um, I've only done one wild camp um, since Restod, so I'll show some of that. And then I'll bring you back. It's about 20 past 7. Um, it's been about four weeks since I last did a wild camp. And it is the 17th of February now. So, and all of January, it's just been storm after storm after storm. There was 10 named storms. The last one was Jocelyn. The one before that was Isha and I've never known anything like it. But I've just been doing like lots of extra shifts. I've been working over. So I've done what 11 shifts? Did my 11th shift last night, finished at 10 and I wanted to go and do a fell but in the late district but it's just the wind swept washout gale force winds zero visibility and i've walked in the dark tonight and it turned up like a drowned rat it took me about an hour to to get on top of this tent it dried out um so now i'm just going to try and settle down i've got myself a bottle of wine some cheese uh and a bottle of stella art twat <laughs> so and the it's the long night, it's still, it's getting dark at five o'clock, so, yeah, so, on with the wild camp. So yeah, I'm on the mowers, I'm on the mowers, easy walking, easy walking, even in the dark and the rain. Yeah, I had um, company last night. I had all the lights off. I was watching a movie. And then something uh, crawled across the screen. 
when I switched my head tight on, head tight, head, headlight on, there was a lizard on me, uh, a small lizard on my screen, <laughs> not like a newt. So I got it out of the tent, and then when I, when I looked around the tent, it was just full of them. It was just, they were everywhere. So I, as I, I was getting them out of the tent, and there was more crawling in under the fly sheet. So I think there must have been a track. I don't know. I, I, I mean, I did have the torch on. It was the light from my phone. I don't know. But it freaked me out. So I poured my lager out. I never touched the wine. Never lit my stove. I'm not going to light my stove. Uh, it just freaked me out. <laughs> and I had the zin the inner zipped clothes. And it, it poured down, but there's hardly been a breeze. So there's quite a bit of condensation. But I'm just going to pack. So this was just a quickie. A quickie. But I am pitched next to some water. But on the walk in, there was frogs everywhere. So I think it's been like the mild weather. All the, all the rains just brought them all out as well. So I want to really check this tent, make sure I bring nothing back with me. <laughs> nothing <at> home. <laughs> so, what day is it? It's Sunday. I might go out after a shift at work Wednesday. I've only got one day off next week. We're on the mowers again, just a quickie, just to get out. And, uh, but I'll just put some of it up. I'm going to put some of it up but only when I put a fell up. So I'm not spamming loads of videos up. So, yeah, it's the first time that's happened. You know, you think you've seen it all when you're out camp, but you, 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 you never have. There's always something new. It's the first time I've had a tent full of lizards. I mean, they weren't aggressive or anything. They were tame enough when I was picking them up and putting them out, but as fast as I was putting them out, they were coming back in. <laughs> it looks like they've cleared off now. I've had a quick look around, but I'm not lighting the stove or anything. I'm going to get packed in a way. So, you know, make sure I check everything so I'm not bringing anything home. I don't want to bring any of them home. <laughs> it's going to cause problems. Yeah, that's the first time that's ever happened to me. I've never had lizards in my tent. So I just, I freaked out. I freaked out. Said, yeah, I mean, they were, they were, I want to say, they were quite tame, you know, they were, they were gentle enough. I made sure I was very, very gentle with them when I got them out. But as fast as I was getting them out, they were just coming back in. So I poured my lager straight out because I didn't want to drink one. <laughs> I wanted my mouth to drink one down. And the wine I didn't drink, and I just sealed the tent up and got the light off till the morning because I think the light might have been attracted to them. But the walk in, there was just frogs everywhere, so I think where it's been, it's got a bit milder. And whether they've come up with hibernation or something, but it was just frogs, and was, I mean, I had a tent full of lizards, it's just never happened to me before. Um, yeah. I've got my uh, flux jacket on today, my green flux jacket, but yeah, on that camp I had the Rab generator jacket on, and uh, what an amazing piece of kit that is. It's the, I don't, I couldn't even tell you how many down jackets I've got. I've got loads that I still haven't uh, worn, because I'm, I'm a sucker for sales and stuff like that. Um, I've saved, you know, you can save hundreds and hundreds if you if you're on the ball, thousands. Um, but I'd say out of my collection, its nearest rival is the uh, yeah the Monte and Flux jacket. I've got what I've got four of these now. I've got one I still haven't worn. Um, this one. I'd say feature wise, it's got two pockets, which the generator's only got one. But the generator has got 
it's got big zip bullers and that art oh, system here and you know with your gloves and everything like that and it's the warmest it just blows everything out of the water including my down jackets um the cut on i like i really like the flux jackets i like the cut and everything the brilliant you know if you want to keep your camera on stuff like that if you want to film outside in the cold or the, on the night <coughs> and uh I think I'll only be wearing down when I know it's dry or during the summer or when I know it's going to be dry. It's going to be synthetic Bailey jackets in the winter. But yeah, the generator jacket's just, I don't know, is it aerogel or something it's got inside? It's the lightest man-made fabric, you know, ever sort of thing. It's used by NASA. So yeah, amazing. But it'd uh, too, be too warm for today. But yeah. Amazing. That's what I'm having uh, to eat. What is it? Super tuna salad. Hmm. No fuss. Oh yes. It's spicy. It's starting to get a bit windy out there, it's sort of, sort of coming in waves there. That's my new platypus bottle, one litre, I normally get a half litre, but uh, they had none in, but still a nice size. I'll get a year out of that, I'll make a hot water bottle out of it tonight. Um, and that's my next meal. Chicken sucky offy or something. Um, come on. Yakitori chicken, same same thing, I think. So I'm looking forward to that and the uh, was it the spicy tuna salad? That was really nice as well, so I'll be doing that more often in the camps. So I'll get the stove on now. I haven't lit the stove, it's it's after ten o'clock now and I haven't lit the stove. I've just watched a movie, was it Arrival? So yeah. So I'll get the stove on. Get some warm water and uh, another warm meal. Yeah, this this food was for a night on the fells. If I knew I was coming here, I might have brought a, a frying pan up and, or wherever cook some proper food. But I, I really like the stuff like this. It's lightweight. It's no fuss. I don't need them at home, but they're perfect for while camping and the cheap. So you don't have to spend like five pound. So, for for one lightweight meal, you can spend one pound fifty or something, just over a pound, and it's perfect for our camping. So I'm gonna have this. I'm gonna have a cup of tea, got some biscuits and that, 
uh, and then I'll have an early night because I want to get up first light and be away from here. Get home and rejig the gear and hopefully I'll get away next weekend but I might be working, I don't know yet. But I'll talk about that, stuff like that in the morning. I'm just going to enjoy my food. Uh, cup of tea in an early night. To nine, uh, first of April, is it? Was it 31st? I don't, I don't know. Yeah, it's the first of April, it's April Fool's Day. Um, it's a Sunday. Is it a Sunday? It's Monday. Don't even, it's Bank Holiday Monday, Easter Monday. Um, so, yeah, I wouldn't normally be putting up like a fell like this. Like, Skelton Tower, it, it, it's like, uh, what's it called, Hallenfell? Just done to death. But there's, there is a, there's a reason, I did say last night, there was, there's a reason for it. And what it is, is uh, my laptop's on the, on the bank. So, I'm going to get this edited. As soon as it's edited, I'm going to uh, take the laptop in. Now, the last time I took my laptop in, I didn't get it back for about 10 to 11 weeks and I'm just accepting that that's going to happen again so it could, uh, I might get it back sooner but I might not get it back for 3 months and I want it in now uh, before I take, I take 2 months off again yeah, later on in the summer um, so I'll be I want it back, firing on all cylinders before I take them two months off. But before I take them two months off, I'm going to get a lot done. Hopefully, well, look, <laughs> it's up to the weather gods. A lot of fells, moors and deals. My fells are the priority. So, if I do something like this, the moors or the tails, I'll include it in when I do, do a fell instead of spamming loads of videos up you only have to look at my thumbnails never mind the titles to understand I'm not the slightest bit interested in the algorithm uh, I'm pushing forward on the fells but I have got I've got a, about three new shelters I'm getting quite a bit of kit in I'm going to be doing some different types of camping but I want to show that when I do the fells. I'm getting a bit repetitive now, Anna. So I might be off here for three months, but I haven't given up while camping. <laughs> um, I don't see that happening. Uh, I've been while camping what, full on for, I think it was since 2002, so about 21 years. I did my first wild camp in the Lake District uh, in August 1980. And I got into camping at the age of 11, really. That was when I was in the Scouts, I loved it. I was also in the camping club from about the age of 12, something like that, at school. We used to get away on weekends. So I bought my first fully geodesic tent in, I think it was 81. It was called Wilderness Leisure then. It's called Never Sports now. It was silver, it was silver on the outside, it looked like a spaceship, 
They had like a chimney, fiberglass poles, two doors. Uh, they weighed an absolute ton. Never had a snap pole though. With them fiberglass poles, it was just far too heavy. We've had put it up on a campsite, people used to crowd around it, wondering what the hell it was. And one, one thing that was unique about that tent, it had, uh, it had like a chimney, so you had like, you, you could pull it tight on the inside or outside, or you could vent. But the idea that that silver, it looked like aluminium, you know, it was like, uh, like a matte aluminium. It looked like a spaceship. So in the summer it would reflect the heat, but in the winter you could have it the other way around, it was double sided. And it was like a greenish coppery colour. The other side of it, if I remember rightly. But then in the winter, the idea was is that would reflect the heat back in. So you've, you've, I've never seen anything like it since. That black, I got that on about 81. Yeah, I wish I still had kept all of that. Yeah, uh, I told my ex missus to sling it. <laughs> uh, we were separated then. Said, you want that tent? No, I'll just throw it in the bin with all the rest of the stuff. Uh, I, 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 regret, I regret that. I was in anger. So it was thrown away in anger. Um, I'm, right, I'm waffling on. So, it, like I say, I wouldn't uh, normally put this up, but. I might not be on for three months. It depends on whether I get my, lap back, my laptop back in a week or three months. Last time it was nearly three months, so I'm expecting the same. And what it is, is I will say this, and the winter has been one of the crappiest winters I can remember. Wind, rain, poor visibility. Now I don't like going out in the bad weather. You wouldn't think that from some of the stuff I've put up. But, uh, now I've got the badge and the t-shirt on that. I'm onto bigger things than that. So, so yeah. yeah but yeah, on the, on the laptop, it's sort of, the, like, coming from work, on, get the news, um, weather, maybe. I have loads of uh, shops bookmarked for bits of kit that I'm following. So I'll go through all of that. I don't have any social media. I don't, I don't, I've never had a Facebook account in my life. Never had a Twitter account in my life, Instagram, any of that. YouTube, I use it to keep a log of my wild camps and then I might use it for, like, I might put an album on, maybe something like Stellodrome or carbon-based life forms. You know, otherwise I'm going through the stuff through the shops and that. And then it'll be Netflix. But I'm a bit of a news addict, so CNN, News Nation, Sky News, on and on and on, like that, uh, BBC News, and I use it for that, not not, not for social media, um, but like, I, I'm in, I'm drinking my tea over it, I'm eating my, my food over it and everything, so someone's probably got in, in, to the keyboard maybe, I don't know, but it needs, it needs to go away, so... Hopefully, I'm back out. Well, I'll be back out soon. I'll just have to keep buying memory cards. They go if, it go, if it's protracted like the last time. Um, bro, yeah. So it's not going to stop me from getting out. It just might be a while before the update. Right, I've. Uh, I think I've waffled on enough. So I'm nearly packed, and it's it's easing up out there now. So. Bye. Bye. And yeah, thanks for supporting my channel. Bye.